kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys this will be the part 8 of my video series on mini wallpaper app using Firebase in Android Studio. Alright guys so in this video we are going to start working for our uh, view wallpaper activity. So let's get started. So guys in our previous video we had done the layout design of the view wallpaper activity. So now in this video let's move towards the view active uh, view sorry wallpaper activity dot java class and in here first of all we need to initialize all the uh, views which are in our design so here let me show you so here you can see we have app bar layout collapsing toolbar layout and all other things okay also we have this image view okay so let's get started so before that let's try to create a new package and name the package as helper all right so here we are going to write our code to save or download the image using the picasso interfaces okay so i will teach you step by step you just need to follow me in every step okay so now you need to click on new and click on new java class and in here you can say save image helper all right so now we have the class save image helper all we have to do is we need to implement the interface which is called target okay meant make sure that you select this one com dot scare up dot picasso all right so now it is saying that you need to uh, implement these abstract methods on prepare load okay so first of all we will have on prepare load then we will have on bitmap loaded and on bitmap filled all right so now we have these three <laughs> methods so now basically we will be having an alert view uh, uh, sorry alert dialog so we will be sending the alert dialog to this class so before that let's first have a context object here and make sure that you have this public save image helper and in in this help uh, constructor we are going to now okay so before that let's have context context and let's say this dot context equals to context all right so now what we are going to have is we first of all need a weak reference object so first of all let's say weak reference and inside our weak reference we will it will be of type alert dialog and we can name it as alert dialog weak reference okay so similarly we will have another weak reference which will be of content resolver and we will name it as content resolver weak reference all right so after that what we are going to do okay so let's say we have uh, the name and description of the image so after that go to your constructor and here and other dialog and also you need the content resolver and then you need string name and string description all right so after that you just need to say alert dialog weak reference equals to new weak reference and inside that we just need to pass the alert dialog okay similarly we can say content 
resolver weak reference equal to new weak reference and here we will pass the content resolver here all right i guess it's very simple and finally we can have this dot name equals to name and this dot description equals to description all right so guys now inside our own bitmap loaded so whenever the bitmap will be uh, loaded so this method will be called so before uh, so now here we can say content resolver okay let's change it to c so new content resolver sorry we don't need to use new so we will just say content resolver weak reference dot get all right and also we can say alert dialog ad equals to alert dialog weak reference dot get okay so we will basically get the reference to this our weak references and after that we can check if c is not null it means we have the data so now we can simply say media store dot images dot media dot insert image okay so now inside our insert image what we are going to have is first of all the content dissolver object so we can simply pass c then we have the bitmap and then we have the name and the description all right so after that we will just uh, dismiss our alert dialog so we can say ad dot dismiss and finally print a message that image downloaded successfully all right so now the download uh, working has been done inside our android activity so basically in our own bitmap field method let me say context and let's try to print the error message if we have so we can say e dot get message all right so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye